Hey, what's up guys? Growing the Hobby coming back to you guys with another baseball break. It's going to be, well, I was going to say a throwback break, but not really. You know, I kind of get thrown by uh, the two players I threw up for the background cards. It's not even two players. It's two different cards of the same player. Both from the rookie year, left to right, my 93 uh, from top series one, my PSA 10 Derek Jeter rookie card. And then on the right side, from 93... SP, my Derek Jeter foil rookie card. That is a PSA 8. Um, yeah, we're throwing things back here, sort of, just based on the title of the uh, the box we're going to do today. We're going to do another Vault Card Club box. Pulling that player, Mr. Derek Jeter, out of the vault for today's video. Hopefully give us a little bit of luck here. This is going to be another one of the High Rollers boxes. This is actually from the month of April, um, or at least that's when I ordered it. I'm not sure if it's actually tailored to April or not, but... Uh, Got four of these in, if you didn't remember that from, uh, I, I think I've uploaded one video at this point. Got four of these boxes in, these high roller boxes. They come in at a price tag of uh, $99.99, so $100. Uh, and the reason I got four of them, just in a nutshell, the, the packs that they had pictured on the website, uh, it didn't have any small print that said, you know, packs uh, that you receive may be different than this. So I just kind of banked on getting the packs that were on the website, and I learned the lesson the hard way, but not really the hard way because I still got some great packs. Um, I did not get the mostly the packs pictured there. Uh, one of the ones that I was really trying to get was the 2016 Bowman Chrome. They had packs of that, and that, you know, my gosh, those sell currently on eBay for about 150 a pack, and they had pictured that you were getting at least one of those uh, in each one of these, so that's why I bought four of them. But none, none, uh, nonetheless, I've gotten some really good pulls out of this. The first box was amazing. I've had really good success with this in the past. I'll show you guys what we're getting here. So if you're not familiar with this, uh, they always give you this Vault Junior Pack, which is uh, to give to, like, your kid or to give somebody that's maybe new into collecting and try and get people's interest and stuff. And I'll actually just open this up and show it to you guys. I normally do open these up because I give my son enough stuff to, to open. I don't think he'll mind this. Plus, he's probably going to get these cards anyway from here. It looks like it's an opening day pack. So they give you one pack, and they give you a couple of hits in here normally. Like I said, it's to try to get more people interested in the hobby, which I do really appreciate that. That is really a cool thing. So we take this off and we see what our hits are. So we got a Thor, no Cindergard there. Nice little refractor action there. You guys can check out the back of that uh, in the 87 design there. That's from 2017 tops. And look at that. Hey, normally they throw a uh, kind of a really crappy card in as the second one. I mean, I'm not saying it's the biggest name, but that's a really, really cool looking card there. First Bowman Auto, Jonathan Griffin, obviously on card, and that's a heck of a giant signature. I like that a lot. That's actually really cool. You know, I'm sure a kid or somebody new to the hobby would appreciate that from 2012. That's pretty cool. And then you got this uh, opening day pack, uh, you know, from 2021. Let's bust that open for the heck of it. See what we get. I'm sure we're not going to get anything crazy because uh, opening day is definitely one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest products ever here. Andres Jimenez, rookie card. Patrick Corbin. Mike Brousseau, future stars. Sonny Gray. Hey, that's a decent one, though. I will say that. Luis Robert, cup card there, second year card. Bobby Dalbeck, rookie card. That's also a very good one. And then uh, one of the mascots, we got Slider. Slider there for the Indians. That's pretty cool. I've actually never seen him, to be honest with you guys. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Not a bad, uh, quite honestly, for an opening day pack. That's a pretty good pack. But let's get into the meat of things, see what we have here. Pull this brick of cords out. Throw this box up here for right now and see what we get in here. Like I said, I think it's like 10 to 15 packs or something they say that you get. Uh, I did preview just to see if that 2016 Bowman Chrome was in, and I know it's not in here, but uh, that's the only thing I really looked for. I didn't really analyze this too much more than that at face value. So let's see what we have here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 10 packs exactly. Move these cards to the side right there. Let's see what we have. So it looks like 2016. Uh, yeah, 2016 Donruss starts us off. 2020 Archives, that is a hobby pack. 2020 Heritage, uh, that is low number or basic, whatever heritage you want to call it. Uh, hobby pack there. 2021 Series 1 hobby pack. 2015 Asia Exclusive, a hobby pack there, a Bowman. 2017 Series 2 hobby pack. The Judge is in Series 1, if you're wondering. Perennial Draft Picks uh, from Prism, Panini Prism here, 2014 hobby pack there. 2021 Donruss. 
2017 update hobby pack. And last but not least, 2015 Bowman Chrome. That could be a pretty good one there. Um, so set that aside here. Kind of set the packs I'm a little bit more excited about over on this side, perhaps. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. All right. Let's kind of do it like this. I think we'll do the Heritage right off the bat. 2020 Heritage. Let's see what we can get in here. I'm kind of hoping for the auto. Uh, that's kind of, you know, it's a tough pull, but uh, that would be what I'd be all about in this. Uh, Ozzy Albies, if you get the auto, it would be in blue. I didn't see any different card stuck, so probably not, and definitely no chrome cards. RBI leaders there. My boy, the Polar Bear, is the main one I'm interested in there. That's awesome from 2019. Brad Peacock, Kutch, Albert Almora. Nelly Cruz, yep. Then we got the uh, throwback there with, uh, yeah, again, <laughs> Willens Ostadio. So I don't think there was anything crazy there. Uh, let's do, I guess let's do the other, this flagship here, 2021 Series 1. Maybe in a couple of years this might be a huge pack, but, you know, everybody's opening so much of this, including myself, that it's just like, you know, I'm getting numb to it at this point. Open so much of this stuff. Uh, no more Mazzara, Austin Hayes, Robbie Ray. A nice uh, White Sox team card there. Buster Posey, Nate Pearson rookie, Vladdy, Jesus Aguilar. Nice Cal Ripken Jr. throwback there. I like that. That's a really cool looking card there. Jack Flaherty. Yep, Chris Archer in the worst trade in Buckos history. The Yankees team card. Andrew Benintendi and John Gray. Yeah, my buck is. I was actually just watching Moneyball right prior to uh, this opening, and I just, uh, you know, I wish, you know, us Bucko fans, we have to hope that uh, we can have somebody that does like what Billy Bean did there for the A's uh, because our owner, Bob Nutting, is not going to put a penny more than he does into this team than he already does, so it's going to take a lot of crunching numbers and luck to get uh, something like that. But this is the 2016 Don Russ, so Big Pop, he starts us off. David Ortiz, Cole Calhoun, Buster Posey, Zach Greinke, lots of flips here. John Smoltz, Don Mattingly, what the heck is this? Is this just a spacer? I hope. I was going to say, I hope it's not a uh, <laughs> a uh, redemption card, because that would have really stunk. All right, we got a raid rookie of Cattell Marte. I'll take it. Heck yeah, Cattell Marte. And then we got throwback. Two, hey, Ricky Henderson, look at that, that's nice. That's really cool looking at Ricky Henderson. I believe that's the 82 design. Yeah, 82 design right there. So there you go, those are the two best cards of that pack for sure. Not bad. All right, set those there. Let's do the 2021 Donruss. Get some luck in here. Let's see, we're going to end with a Mariano Rivera. All right, Alex Verdugo starts us off. Fergie Jenkins in a throwback. Rizzo, we got rated rookie of. Hey, Dylan Carlson, that's a good one for sure. Definitely take that bad boy. Got Christian Yelich behind there, and we got some parallels or subsets coming up. First one is going to be... What the heck? I'm not sure the name of this, but holy heck. Domingo Ayala. What on earth? I've not seen one of these at all. What the heck? No teammates, no problem. In 2020, Ayala taught viewers how to practice with only a bat, a ball, a glove, and a good attitude. From blasting a tater off imaginary pitcher to heaving himself a skyscraping fly ball to flinging no-look throws off the light tower, the star showed how to sharpen skills all day, baby. That is a different card there. I've not, like I said, pulled one of these. Hey, there we got a nice Mookie Betts. Not sure the name of this subset, uh, but uh, 1983 of 2021. And last but not least is that Mariano Rivera, kind of blue foil. Uh, not numbered, obviously, and stuff. So, uh, you know, we ended pretty strong in that pack. Uh, Dylan Carlson is a really nice rookie card to hit on there as well. All right, 2020 Archives. Love... The archives designed from 2020 in particular, especially the 55 cards are in here. 55 designed, 2002 and 74. 74s are the uh, first ones right here. So Trevor Story. We've got a purple. I think purples are 
What are those out of? Oh, it's been a while since I've opened archives. I've hit quite a few purples. He's at 70 something. I, I I don't know. Let's hope it's an autograph. That'd be really cool. So Trevor Story, Dansby Swanson, Nelly Cruz, 2002 design for Jose Arquiti. Willie Mays. That's a nice looking card there. And then our, well, I'm going to say that purple. I think it's going to be in the 2002 design. Isan Diaz, rookie card there in the 55. Goose Gossage. Flip this around. And, oh, I had it completely wrong, I guess. For the Reds, A. Eugenio Suarez. A. Eugenio Suarez. And that is... Uh, I was completely wrong. It's out of 175. Well, I had the 70s. All right, but uh, 100 off. So 121 and 175 for A. Eugenio Suarez. So another serial number card. I'll take it. You know, not the biggest monster card there, but that's okay. All right, let's see what we get in uh, 2017 Series 2. Then we'll do that update. Kind of these flagship packs. Let's see what we have here. Chesler Cuthbert starts us off. Julio Arias and Dalton Simmons and a cool looking fire card there. Jason Worth. I think we got a gold coming up behind this Jonathan Broxton. Dexter Fowler, and that should be a gold numbered out of 2017. And it is number 113 of 2017. Dexter Fowler. Got an memorable moments of Aaron Boone with his walk off in game seven. J. Hap, Ryan Goins, and Mark Canha. So there you go. It's again nothing too too crazy doings in that pack. 2017 update. I'm we'll getting to the packs I'm probably most excited about. Uh, flip that around here. Adam Eaton starts us off. Uh, Peter Borios. Rookie card of Ramon Torres. Andrew Bailey. Carlos Beltran. And then, ooh, was that black? No, that's a throwback. It's a throwback to JV with the cup card there. I think that's around, is that like the 2009 design off the top of my head? Something around there. I think that's the same design as the Phil Hughes rookie is what makes me think of, uh, you know, the, the roughly the year there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 2006. Ah, whatever. I was within a couple of years. But that's a pretty cool looking JV card there in the throwback to, to 2006. Dylan Overton. Hey, there we go. Judge home run derby card from his rookie year. Doesn't have the rookie uh, emblem, but that is definitely from his rookie year there. Justin Haley rookie card. And last but not least, Stuart Turner rookie card. So a couple of decent ones in that pack. All right. Last three packs, the ones I was most excited for here. Um, I'm actually going to save the Bowman for the end. I'm actually more excited for that. Let's do this 2014 perennial draft picks here from Prism. You guys know Panini does not have MLB licensing, so we're not going to see team logos, you know, things like that uh, on here. But let's see what we get. Something blue in the center. So quite a bit of shine, obviously. So Jorge Soler starts us off. Behind there, we got a Jake Lindgren. I'll save that middle card for the end, I think. Draft class, Bradley Zimmer. Michael Chavis. That's a good one. And then the blue, which I have no idea what it is. Marcus Wilson. Uh, just, I don't know what those are called. If it has numbering? Yeah, it does have numbering, actually. It's out of 199, number 66 of 199, Marcus Wilson. So there you go, from uh, 2014. So, yeah, nothing crazy there. I mean, we did hit a numbered parallel. Been a lot of numbered parallels here today, but uh, nothing really crazy. Let's do our 2015 Asia, is that the Asia edition? Yeah, Asia edition of Bowman. I'll save that Chrome pack for last. Guys are going to see. I'm going to have a hard time with the uh, the paper ones of these. Showing you guys the fonts. They just it's a brutal year to read the uh, the fonts on the papers here. Shin Su Chu starts us off. This is paper. Chris Owings. Uh, we got a Chrome. Is that a basic Chrome or not? I don't know. I, that boring it makes it look a little black. Uh, it's a first. You know what? It's a refractor. Let's check it out here. So Tyler uh, Deloche. 
That was the first Bowman. No, no numbering. No numbering. Interesting. Though. That's definitely a refractor action there. I'll have to look into that a little bit more after. Hey, there we go. Look at that. Look at the young Josh Bell there. Holy smokes, guys. I mean, formerly none of the Buckos, of course, but uh, JB there. Wow. Very early prospects card there. Carlos uh, Swaji, first Bowman paper. And then we got a wow, Shimmer. Hunter Dozier. Heck yeah. Hunter Dozier Chrome Shimmer. I think that's what that's going to be called. That's a nice looking card, though. Nice Hunter Dozier right there. Then we got an Edmundo Sosa, first Bowman. So that must not be a parallel. I guess that black border, gray border, whatever you want to call it, is pretty standard. Uh, then back to paper for Troy Tulowitzki. Then we got a rookie card of Dilson Herrera. And last but not least, Tim Cooney. So not too shabby there in all honesty. The chromes were pretty cool on that one. I like those. Last pack. Same year, uh, just kind of different cards here. The American version, or North American version, if you will, 2015 Bowman Chrome. Only going to get uh, four cards in here. Uh, hey, we might have either an auto or a parallel because we definitely have a different card stock. You guys see the second card there? I think I don't even need to focus anymore. Second card is definitely something's going on there. So Lucas Duda. This is going to be our first card. I'm going to pull from the back. I think we got some green action, no less. That might be out of 99. Luis Ortiz. Chance Cisco. And our, what I believe to be green. Let's hope for an auto, too. Let's get a big name. I don't see any first Bowman, though. Is that an Astro? It looks like an Astro, I think. And it's a pitcher. <laughs> Pat Nishik. Yep, no auto, no first Bowman, but still Pat Nishik. And that is, yep, number 9 of 99, green. So as far as uh, numbered cards go, we hit a heck of a lot of those today. Uh, you know, decent variation still. Like I said, you know, I don't really have any regrets for buying four of these. Nice variation in packs. And I, the box has been honestly good to me in the past. I've pulled some really monster cards out of some of these random packs. So, uh you know, some pretty good stuff, you know, guys. Please do me a favor, like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys. As always, in the description below, you guys can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. I will also link uh, the Vault Card Club if you guys are interested in checking out one of these boxes. They offer quite a variation of boxes and stuff like that, uh, but you guys can check that out for yourself. Other than that, have a great day, a great night wherever you all are at, and we will see you next time.